Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your Windows 10 device is having issues installing the QuickTime Player by Apple. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd actually recommend doing would be to go and open up Task Manager. So go ahead and right click on a blank area of your taskbar and just go ahead and right click on that and then select task manager select where it says processes which should be the default landing page here and then underneath apps if you see anything that says Microsoft Teams go ahead and close out of the program itself and if you see any residual apps showing up under here like Microsoft Teams, Skype, that kind of thing right click on them and select end task and then once you see that task cleared out of there, attempt to relaunch the installer and see if that has resolved the problem. If you're still having a problem, let's just go ahead and close it here. And then navigate over to whatever browser you want to go ahead and download QuickTime from. So we're going to go into Google and just type in QuickTime download. And just search for that. Give it a moment here. And you can navigate over to Google if you want to use a different search engine you can, but this is what we're going to be doing for today's video. And it should say support.apple.com. Go ahead and select the one for Windows. Should be one of the top results here. Unless you're using a Mac OS device, which this tutorial is not directed for, but similar concept though. So we're going to go ahead and just wait for the Apple web page to load up here. Okay, so now it should say download quick time for Windows. Go ahead and select the download button. Please note that QuickTime is no longer supported by Apple for Windows devices, however this is going to install QuickTime if you have a legacy application you need to have this functionality for. That's what this is here for, basically. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and select Run. If you're having an issue though and it's still saying it's failed, let's go ahead and actually close out of there and open up the file location for that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and open up our Downloads folder. And I'm going to show in folder. And I'm going to just drag it over our desktop here. So if you're having a problem running this, you can try right-clicking on it and selecting Properties. Select the Compatibility tab. And then check mark where it says Run this program in Compatibility Mode 4. And then click the drop-down and select Windows 7. And then select Apply and OK. And now if you try to run this installer and then select Run, it should be able to install without any issues at this point. We're going to go ahead and actually go ahead and install it. So we're going to do a typical install, and then if you want to change the destination folder, you can. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and just select Install here. Select Yes if you receive the user account control prompt. Select yes. Okay, should say finish here, and then go ahead and restart your computer, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.